What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Tanny. Back with another video. Yes. Can we get a clap? Come on. Come on. We uploading videos. This is some unsurprising stuff right here. But anyways, today I'm going to be showing you part two of how to create a profile picture. I made a video, I think, yesterday or two days ago. I don't know when I'm going to be uploading this video, but this is going to be a different one where I'll show you guys how to basically render out a profile picture with a for the avatar that has a skin tone and overall not black and white so sit back relax get your cup of water if you don't drink water go outside but hope you guys enjoyed this video like sub and please please join our discord it will mean a lot so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys right here But in the last video, I showed you guys how to create this profile picture. Came out neat. Some people liked it from what they've seen in the comments. Only like three comments, but hey, thank you guys for the support. It means a lot to see that people still make GFX and especially watch our videos. And yeah. So let's jump right into this video because I've been talking a lot. So, first thing we want to do is go to our window properties, go to sampling, render. I'm actually using the starter wig by. He, let me just find his username it's by softy and if i can find his username uh pabbles i hope i'm saying this right but this wig is by them make sure to actually download this wig because i got to test it a little bit and it's good i'm gonna tell you that it's very good so be sure to download it so first thing we want to do is go to our window properties make sure not make sure um automatic automatically in this uh wig it sets our uh, uh, max samples to 4,906, which honestly, I can't complain. If you guys have a less of a better computer, you can honestly go lower. But just because I have a good computer, I'm just going to stick with this. Next thing I'm going to be doing is going into film and making sure that transparent background is on. Next thing I'm going to be doing is going into output properties, going into output, making sure our color is red, green, Red, green, blue, and alpha. Color depth 16. Compression 0, just like last time. Resolution 800 by 800. And this is, this is honestly going to be the same, steps that, the same steps I did for the last video, just a little bit faster. That's it. <laughs> Nothing special. And what I'm going to be doing now is bringing up the camera a little bit closer. And I'm going to be posing the character. So... How about we do it like this? I'm going to speed the spot up just because this is kind of boring. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. And this is it to be honest for the pose, I think. Might rotate the hand a little bit, maybe bring it a little bit out, just so it covers a little bit of our scene. And also, I might try and rotate this, um, sort of like wind effect. I don't even know what to call this, so I just have it maybe like this. And I'll actually go ahead and remove some of the part, some of the parts that are covering the face, so. For example, this part, this part, and this one, just like this, go into render view, and yeah, I'm liking how this is looking, now I'm going to be zooming into our character, maybe to about this point, I'm going to bring up the hand a little bit more, and again, taking the camera and playing with the focal length. Also, if you guys haven't watched the first video, I recommend you do watch it because I go uh, depth into details than in this video. So, you should check it out. And I'll just have it like this. So, am I liking how this is looking? I might bring this a little bit down. And like this is good for me in my opinion. 
and again for this video i'm going to be having like this pose uh blend file in the description just in case some people want this specific pose and how to use this specific like um pose in, in your gfx is in the last video so here's the video up here so you can click it and go to the end and i'll basically show you guys how to use it and yeah so this is it for the camera part next thing i'm going to be doing is messing with the lighting so first thing i'm going to do is go into the world icon go into color go into surface then color bring up the color a bit just so it's not too dark just like this next thing i'm going to be doing is picking one of the accessories lowering the roughness bringing up the specular metallic same same thing goes for the hat lower the roughness bring up the metallic I only do this for certain accessories that need to be like uh, lowered in roughness and brought up by the metallic. So for the hair, for example, I don't want this to happen. So I'm going to be clicking tab on my keyboard, clicking duplicate right here, and then clicking assign, and then just bringing up the roughness. And I'm going to be behind this. Oh, the wings are already, okay. <laughs> So the color I'm going to be going for in this, with this specific character is probably going to be honestly light blue just because of like the, this frozen crown, not crown but uh, yeah I don't even know what the color is, like spikes sort of type thing, yeah. So I'm going to be clicking shift plus A, hitting an area light, I'm going to scale this up by pressing S on my keyboard, bringing the light behind him. Just like this, and I'm gonna bring up the power, just like so, and I'm gonna be setting the color to this light bluish type color, yes, this looks good, and I'm noticing the character is actually, I actually changed this character a bit because I thought it would look better, but never mind. The creator of this thing knew what he was doing with the settings. Okay, next thing. I'm going to actually bring this up a bit more. And I'm going to be taking Chef Plus A again. Adding another area light. Just like this. Let's scale this up. And I'm going to have this below him. Just like this. And I'm gonna be making this also blue, the like kind of bluish, but not too much, not to an extent where it's like this. So just a tiny bit. And let me just see how it looks. Okay, okay, this looks good. I think this uh, background blue can actually be much more bluish. Just like this, yes, yeah, sir. Now go ahead and lower the roughness a bit more, just because. And I'll bring up the metallic for this and lower the roughness again. Just so we got that shiny effect. Yeah, just like this, honestly. And I just want to make sure everything is dented with the camera. Another thing I forgot to mention is go. What you want to do is go into Render Properties, go into Color Management. And make sure your view transform is set to raw and not filmic or whatever you have. And your gamma, what you want to do is bring it up. Not too much. And your exposure too. With the gamma mostly. At least, that's what I have to do. And that is it. Continue on with the video. I know this is a very bad time to do this, but... Something I noticed when the render came out is... It felt way too zoomed in, so what I'm, what I did was, I went ahead and played with the focal length, with the focal length and the camera location, and I'm still playing with this because I just want to get like a little bit more of like background, just so that we can like see effects. So that's what I'm gonna be doing exactly here. So all I'm doing is honestly messing around with the character, the camera. I'm just trying to get like more of the background. So, but at the same time, I don't want want this like part to be uh too open. 
So I'm trying to like cover that. So I'm sorry if this is taking a long time. I'm just trying to take my time with this. But at the same time, again, this is this is gonna be linked in the description for you guys to download. So if this seems too complicated for you, you can go ahead and download this. Also, another thing, there's gonna be a part two to this video of the Photoshop part, just because this video is obviously way too long. I already reached 10 minutes while editing this, so part two should be up right now and yeah, so if you guys waited for the Photoshop part and thought this was gonna be an easy video, but it's not. So I'll catch you guys in part two. And yeah, bye bye.